I think I definitely understand the title of this episode, thanks to last episode. This one's called Smiles and Tears, and we know when Luck was is being controlled, he's crying on the inside and smiling on the outside. It's, it's, a, it's a good contradiction. I really enjoy it. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode 105 of Black Clover. Like I said, called Smiles and Tears. Last episode, we had Rufal. Gotta write that down because I just looked it up. In Lux body going ham against Magna and Vanessa. Then Asta came in for the 3v1 and Rufal's still hard to kill. Very powerful. I don't know what we're going to be able to do, but we have to do something. I am super excited. I need, a, I need this arc to go on forever. I don't... I mean, there's like 70 episodes left, so I doubt this is going to be the final arc, but I wonder what the next one, like this, what's, what's the resolution downside of this one going to be? Because this is like crazy. Like to me, this is on par with the Konoha crush arc, you know, at the end of the Chunin exams in Naruto and the entire show shifted from there and went to a completely different show because that was such dramatic moments that happened, such dramatic characters that we ended up losing. We are. Oh, I don't even want to talk about Julius. It makes me sad every time. I just. I'm so curious where this arc is gonna go. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description down below for you guys. Like always, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias: Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, uh, episode 105, Smiles and Tears. This little combo magic they did was actually very sick. I've always said it from the jump. I love Vanessa as a support mage. She's insane. Oh, another flashback. This time, is it Luck or Rufal? Is it Luck inside? Like, is, is this Luck's soul? It is. Normally, this music plays for, like, flashbacks. So that's why I assumed. So it's kind of like the sunken place, like they're in some sort of dream state, they have no... Moms! What's up, Lux mom? That was beforehand, that was beforehand. This is like, this is like the dream state that Luck is in right now, but think back to the present. There's other people. They mentioned that too with Digit, the other episode. I wonder what that means. I'm so curious. Something else? Something evil? Asa genuinely feels that way too. Hear the voice. I literally just got goosebumps from the voices, but hear the voices of the people who care about you. Yes, you did. Aww. Crazy little shit. Let's kick him, little chicken. Oh, that was kind of a bar right there. I might have to say that sometime. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, the good old days, man. Oh. And I like how it shows Magna at the end. Magna and Luck are truly the boys. Oh, that was dope. I needed that. Yes. Now we're, now we're getting the Rufal flashback. So this is the actual Rufal spirit, it seems. As we know, Digit said that the elf spirit inside him didn't actually want this to happen. Like, they, they genuinely seem like good people who had, you know, bad situations happen to them and obviously feel their need for revenge, but they seem like good spirited peeps, you know? Now we got the main man back, the legend. We needed you, bud. We needed you. Oh, don't cry like this, Luck. You'll get me teary at, I swear. You'll always be one of the black bulls, my friend. Oh, ah, such goodness, such goodness. I believe they were able to evacuate quick enough. 
good. Oh, damn. Vanessa came in clutch. Magical effects. Okay. As if it were another cast. So that makes a lot more sense. Whereas the demon dweller sword sucks magic, like magic in its raw essence, and is able to send that back. This one, sort of like impairments, status effects, anything that the effects that a spell has on a person, this can suck out. Versus the spell itself, like, you know, the magic of that, which is interesting. So it just sucks out the reincarnation spell magic. If anyone would know, it would be luck. See? Same thing what Digit said. I'm curious. Yeah, how is Gosh, Gordon, and Gray doing over there? Okay, luck will send us there in a heartbeat. That's super dope. Good, so that was a power upgrade permanently for luck. That's super dope. So that's dope. Luck got a power upgrade, but I'm still curious what's going on at the base. Oh yeah, well, I mean, we know it's in shambles because of Henry, but I'm curious what Gosh is going to do. <laughs> yeah, Henry just talking all slow as ever. Asa's the only one who's met him before besides Yami. He is the owner of the base. Also, I don't know if I commented on this, but shout out to everyone who said, I think it was episode 46, I forget the episode time, but at like 14 minutes, it focuses on the table with Asa and like Vanessa and everyone else. But if you look back in the left corner, like in the, on the balcony, you can see Henry chilling. Like it's not even like they super tried to hide him. It's like clear as day. You're just so focused on the table. You don't really look around. Like I'm so curious to anyone who was watching this for the first time and had no idea who Henry is. If they're just like, who the fuck is that? You know, like if they actually caught that. Cause that's such a crazy little East. I love Easter eggs like that in anime, you know? Ooh, okay. Dynamic duo, Asta Luck. Overwhelming magic, shaking the ground. I was not expecting this. Is she an over? No. Oh. So she's like, you know? She just like transform but is able to retain no her ears aren't switched she literally just has like a little tattoo i wonder i'm very curious i can't lie i'm kind of all right i'm pissed i'm pissed after that one how are you gonna do that to me like that black clover i'm pissed Ooh, see the way he was using that walk he's over here chefing again that would be one of the dopest magics to have Oh, did she make fried rice? That looks delicious. Fried rice sounds so good right now. Sensu bean fried rice. Asa doesn't even have magic to increase. He's just like, this is some damn good fried rice. <laughs> That fat guy. <laughs> they all have their own dope personalities. Yeah, checking up on the others, talking about what we need to do. Yup, <laughs> gotta update them. Yes, sir. I really enjoy Henry. Now that he has some of his magic replenished, you guys don't know how dope Henry's magic is. Recombination. The Raging Black. Whoa. I thought we were just going to have the base rebuild. Are we taking Henry with us? There's no way, right? It's our Zord. It's our Mecha Ultron <laughs> Zord that we're going to be fucking taking to the capital. Let's go. That was not what I was expecting at all.
Damn. Damn, that was a good, like, charge up episode for the next few fights. I know it's gonna go down. Well, that was a dope episode. I love the regroup we have at the Black Bulls base and how we are all together as a Black Bull squad going to save the rest. That was a good little fake out with Charmy. That was hilarious. I needed that some levity for some of the darkness that's gonna hit. Um, I like how I like how it showed luck in the. I'm, I'm assuming that's what all the human souls are going through now that another soul has inhabited their body. Um, he's kind of like in the sunken place, you know just reliving major memories and stuff in his head and he saw his mother who was the only one who would accept him before but now that he was able to physically i don't want to say be penetrated like that but physically he was penetrated by asta's little magic and sword and how he was able to hear them he was like oh i gotta go and that was a very touching moment so that was very very nice love the way they handled that awesome fight with luck i love how he's able to keep the power now that his body's gotten used to that mana and magic you know his body itself remembers it so power upgrade for him i love how we're all going together super excited we got to save gosh <sighs> this is gonna be interesting gotta go ham <laughs> again that charmy fake out was hilarious i love how everyone needed to get caught up we got a new member zora we got another new member henry who are actually some og members you guys just never knew him the black bull charging style shouts out to charmy's fried rice that gives you magic a little bonus that's i need i need her cotton creation magic in my life for sure you're imagine you're just anywhere you're going on a hiking trail you can just do cotton creation magic you know summon you a nice cottony bed and a nice cottony chef to cook you dinner like bro her magic is dope i need some of that i'm about to keep hopping in these episodes though if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel if you guys don't want to wait uh check out that patreon four episodes early access or the full length over there as well um, follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper darius much appreciated y'all uh don't forget to drink some water be safe tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace